My name is Leila Takayama and I'm a user experience researcher at Google X. We work on a lot of the human side of the problem for moonshots in science and technology. My sort of first step into computer science was with the female mentor. She was the one who sort of first gave me a chance. I think that made the biggest difference by far. There's race, there's gender, there's your height, like all these things that we know sociologically can count against you in these areas. And so I never knew like which one of those things was hurting me at any given time. So it's like, you know what, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do and do what makes me happy. I went to just a plain old job fair at the engineering school and saw this company called Willow Garage that was making robots. So I went up to them and said like, how can I get a robot? And they said, we don't have one yet, but we could use help in making one. Human computer interaction is sort of this very interdisciplinary field. I feel like part of my job as a user researcher is to figure out like, what are those other perspectives that I don't have? There's way more stakeholders than just the few engineers who are there in the room building the system. If you don't represent the perspectives of the customer, and customers include both men and women, people of many different ages, people with many different kinds of capabilities, you make something that only one person in the household loves, the rest of the family hates, and guess where it ends up? <laughs> in the closet. Being cognizant of being more inclusive, I think, makes a big difference. It's really the implicit biases and the things that we just do, because we didn't think about it really hard, that end up excluding um, parts of the team. One team I worked with, they always had this tradition of like having scotch in the afternoon. I was like, okay, how about we widen that a little bit? <laughs> um, and they did, right? Because they, they weren't doing it on purpose. They weren't trying to exclude us. But it was, and so, you know, we just talked about it and it wasn't emotional, it wasn't, nobody got defensive, we just changed it. And so now they'll do like cupcakes and everybody's happy. Because um, <laughs> everyone loves cupcakes. There's some days where I really want to take it on and tackle that kind of bias, but there's other days and I'm like, I just can't, I don't have the energy to fight this all the time, right? I'm gonna go where people actually want to work with me um, and are interested in what I'm doing. Um, so that, you know, that, those kinds of things happen still today, uh, and it's a problem, but they're not insurmountable. To me, what really mattered was people ahead of me seeing where I could go and helping me to sort of move in that direction. You know, that might be a quick phone call, it might be just coffee, um, but I remember those making a huge difference to me. And actually, there's a woman here at Google who I called when I was an undergrad and wasn't sure if I should go to grad school, and now I get to work with her. <laughs> like, that's, it's pretty awesome. I think if we had more examples of non-fictional and fictional role models, I think that would make a huge difference just for people thinking like, you know, I could be that.